All right, guys, we are back, and we are here with Leisure Suit Larry 3. Uh, the adventure is actually going to begin at this point. And you can see we, see we still have uh, some credits coming up on the screen here. All right. Recovering from Kalalalu's shocking news, you carefully consider what the fuck to do. I suppose I could go into mourning, you think. Mope around all day, sit in my room, rent lots of porn, shit like that. Or I could give up on women, remain celibate forever, enter the ministry or something. Wait a minute, what the fuck am I thinking? No way! Not me, not Larry. Larry Laffer. You know, this island is the perfect location for a sophisticated single swinger like yours truly. And thanks to the wonderful island tradition, Kalili La Walahalohulu's dowry gave me hundreds of acres of potentially valuable forest land. Perhaps my love for that bitch blinded me to the potential of my current locale. Where else could I find more women than a, at a tropical resort? And to think, every one of them came here seeking just one thing. A good time. Yeah, that's it. I've had it with monogamy, marriage, long-term relationships. Commitment. It's time to be a fucking pimp. So be it. My life's new goal will be to allow as many women as possible to enjoy me while they can. That's a good idea. He's back! Look out, girls. Just when you thought it was safe to dive back into the gene pool, the original swinger is at it again. It's Larry Laffer! Whee! Alright. So, we're back in our leisure suit. Get a little bit confusing here. Go ahead and look around. The native corporation has done an excellent job of preserving the environment of the jungle, at least in this location. A beautiful specimen granadilla tree grows here. Let's check out the tree. The granadilla is short and graceful with a gray trunk and delicately spreading branches. Beneath its outstretched balls lies a beautiful piece of wood, probably cut by a native and then forgotten. So we'll go ahead and take that wood. You take the beautiful chunk of granadilla wood from the beneath the tree. Alright, hey! But she ain't in the hot tub no more. Let's go check out the mailbox. See if I got any mail. Well, well, look at this. It's an envelope from your credit card company. Eagerly, you take the envelope from the mailbox. Could this be the big break from Ed McMahon you've been hoping for? Say, it's an answer from that credit card company whose application you mailed only 15 weeks ago. Ripping open the envelope, you discover your new credit card. And look, it's in your name only. That Hawaiian bitch can't claim this is community property. Oh, there we go. Got some points for that one. 
All right. Now we got, well, plastic money anyways. Down this path lies your office. Say, what about your cute little redhead in accounting? You've always wanted a chance to balance her figures. Follow the hand. It's nearly time to start work. You'd better hurry, Larry. You're going to be late again, and you know how much Chairman Kenneth hates tardiness. Yeah, fuck him. Good morning, David. David, you tell the guard. Another day, another dollar, eh? Perhaps so, Larry, Dave replies. But then again, perhaps not. Chairman Kenneth wants you to report to his office immediately. Okay, David. Don't worry, it's probably nothing. I bet he wants to compliment me on my last big ad campaign. Good morning, Mr. Laffer. It's so nice to see you fit a little time into your busy day to drop by and see us here at NATO Zinc. Please, have a seat. Anywhere but uh, on my couch. Perhaps you're wondering why I summoned you here, Laffer. It has nothing to do with that recent ad campaign of yours, although by its appearance you didn't have a hell of a lot to do with it yourself. Uh, this isn't going well. Since you are no longer married to my daughter, and your marketing skills suck ass, I can't for the life of me think of a reason why the fuck to keep you here. In fact, I've been waiting for this moment quite a long time. I know the perfect way to handle this situation. Oh, he's got that look in his eye. Perhaps I could introduce you to a favorite hobby of mine. Son of a bitch! Another 7-10 split! Davy boy, load up my RAM disk. I'm going to take my laptop out for a spin today. <coughs> well, well, Larry. It seems your ad campaign wasn't the only thing Chairman Kenneth didn't appreciate. Oh, well. You lived off your wits once, and you can do it again. You shake the haze from your brain, slowly rise to your feet, and stumble groggily outside. That was humiliating, Larry. You vow never to work for that prick again. about that building. Kind of scary. Alright, now what do we have here? It looks like some uh, bathroom under the cabana type of deal. Let's get a drink here. I'm a little parched. First day. Oh, look around. The casino's changing cabana, which bears an amazing resemblance to an outhouse, is nestled in the grove of trees. Look at cabana. The cabana has three cubicles and a sink with running water at its left end. Sink. 
A public sink is mounted on the side of the cabana. A bar of soap hangs over the sink, suspended by a rope looped over the nail. Let's go ahead and get the soap on the rope. You grab the unusually shaped soap on a rope that hangs from the sink. 